Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be the start of my birthday prep. I almost forgot about my birthday this year, but I'm turning 24. If you guys are wondering why I sound like this, I've been sick for like two weeks. It's a long story. I'm making a whole separate video about my autoimmune stuff because I feel like I mention it in a lot of videos, but I don't really go into detail. Long story short, a bitch has been going through it, okay? And I am finally getting a little bit better. I'm all dosed up on my prednisone. My steroids are kicking in, okay? And I just received my package in the mail. This is from finesse.com. I've actually never shopped from here and I'm really scared to open this. I'm hoping that everything fits because I got three separate clothing items and I'm actually surprised that they all fit in here. So let me open this up. I ended up getting a dress. I'm not really doing anything for my birthday, honestly. The older I get, the less I want to um, <laughs> communicate or just interact with anyone else besides uh, myself. My plans are to just get glam. I'm getting my hair and my nails done. I haven't got my nails done ever since my last birthday, you guys. I haven't got my nails done in a year. And the last year when I got my nails done, it was just from some random shop and she was good. I'm not knocking her, but if you guys have been following me for a minute, like I'm talking privated videos a minute ago, I used to go to this one lady for two years straight and I had like glam nails every like two or three weeks. They never broke. When I say never broke, like never broke. And then she moved to Indiana and I was so upset about it. I followed her to two separate shops and at the first shop, she had this girl that did work next to her and I always looked at her nail work as well on whoever she was doing whatever client she had and it always looked a bomb but i liked going to my girl because my nails never broke and i'm not cheating on her so once my main girl left i was trying to figure out where homegirl that was sitting next to her at the first shop was at and i was looking her up on instagram like i was trying to find her and i finally found her last year i believe like after my birthday so it was too late because i had my nails done i do not really go out of my way to make my nails like a built-in expense monthly if you get what i'm saying uh, it's kind of just like a now and then thing but i moved into this apartment in january so i really have just been on like pay my bills pay my expenses get my shit done era i haven't really been to oh let's get glam i'm trying to get back to that but if you know anything about me it's go big or go home i'm not gonna do no rinky dink nails like i like to get my nails done like glam if i'm gonna do all of that like i don't like to do no 20 dollars, 30 dollars here i don't mind spending the money on my nails if i know that it's going to be worth it so i finally found her she's actually opening up a shop soon which i'm so excited <laughs> i'm so excited because i can go to the shop but yeah i'm gonna get my nails done by her i would get my feet done by her but i've never had a pedicure by her so just to be safe i'm gonna go to one of my try to choose shops get my toes done separately i'm getting my hair done by my girl that always does my braids um i asked her to do like a slick back braid which i've also never done so we're just doing a whole lot of first right now but i got some stuff from finesse because i wanted to be able to wear it on my birthday so i'm only planning on going like a little dinner i'm gonna go with my mom my dad and my uncle the uncle that's not my uncle but is my uncle the one that y'all saw in that vlog from the new york family visiting so he is always usually around for my birthday festivities but i am planning on going shopping just by myself my birthday is the one time of the year if you know me if you've been watching me following me for a minute i just blow it okay <laughs> for two three weeks it's getting blown i just like to treat myself because i usually only have this urge to do that like twice out of the year you guys saw in my winter vlogs if you guys are watching during that time i definitely was on one but okay the first top that i got from Vanessa. I'm gonna wear it when I go shopping. Hopefully if it fits the way I want to. It says high maintenance, which, yes. Don't mind the bra because I'm wearing a neon bra right now. But this is so cute, okay? And I'm planning on wearing like some cargo pants. I just ordered some from Fashion Nova. I tried to get some off of Amazon, but they're just not the quality that I wanted. So I'm gonna get some cargo pants. I got a black pair and a pink pair, depending on my mood that day. My arms are like, with the number one thing that i just don't like showing i don't like having my arms exposed but my birthday is in august and it's hot as hell outside so i just have no other choice i'm just gonna have to suck it up and be a bad bitch this day this is not a part of the birthday fit necessarily but i really wanted a leather jacket obviously not real leather i think it's vegan and oh yeah it's definitely vegan this is a vegan leather 
it is in a size 1x because i wanted it to be big and i'm hoping that it fits the way i want it to because i got a leather jacket last year if you guys were watching my winter vlogs and i didn't like the way it fit oh so happy okay Ew, the way I just said ooh, I need to get my voice back. This is not okay. I will definitely, if this dress fits the way I want it to, best believe I'm going back on finesse.com because these sizings were perfect. I got the top in the XL, this in a 1X, and it fits exactly how I want it to. Baggy, I didn't want it to be too tight. This dress is an XL. My normal size is an XL. This is the front. Ways to tie it. I haven't figured out exactly how to tie it, but I don't have a bra on right now because I wanted to show you in like the most simplest form, but I like this, okay? As a slit on the side, she is cute. This is the back. As soon as I figure out how to tie this correctly, I'm gonna be unstoppable, okay? What's up, you guys? Today is Friday, July 28th, and yes, this is my hair, y'all. You, you see that? I feel like I'm wearing a wig. It's giving very much yakky, okay? I'm still continuing my birthday prep. My birthday is on Wednesday of next week. Um, I just got a wax yesterday, and believe it or not, my wax lady is also pregnant. Everyone important in my life is just pregnant and going on maternity leave. Like, I don't wanna talk about it. The good news is my eye doctor is back though. So the pregnant eye doctor is back, but my pregnant wax lady is leaving. And she says she's only going on maternity leave for like a week or two, so she's a boss ass bitch. And the last things for my birthday prep is my hair i'm doing my hair the day before so on tuesday i'm going to my dad's house today which i haven't been over there in like a month i got some pants off of fashion nova like last minute so hopefully they fit but i accidentally sent them to his address instead of mine um because i lived at my dad's house for four months before i moved here so everything was still saved like under my um apple pay and things like that so i had to delete his address but i have sent multiple things to his house by accident um recently so i had to delete everything but uh i'm it's cool i get to see my dad so yeah that's the update i'm going to attempt to put my hair into a ponytail and i'm going to walk lucky because he looks pretty pissed with me isn't that right lucky i think when i was in high school i literally begged my mom to get a keyboard piano and i think i got it for either christmas or my birthday one year and i had it in her basement in storage for the last couple of years and i wanted it so i got it from her house and i just put it underneath my furniture but the other day i just had the sudden urge to want to play the piano so i put it together and i discovered that the batteries were like really messed up so i had to take them out clean the battery cage and i put new batteries in praying to god that it still worked and it did so i'm glad i don't have to buy a new piano because i really do love having a keyboard just at the ready if you guys did not know i went to college for music like i studied music performance specifically um i actually used to take piano lessons i feel really bad because i kind of forgot everything about the piano like i was really like getting like to an intermediate level when i was in high school and then after high school i just didn't play it for i think probably two years um so i think i probably played the piano either in the middle of my high school career i don't think i was playing it senior year i had like i was just going to work and i didn't have a full schedule and then when I went to college, I think I did straight, maybe I didn't take, oh no, I did, I did. I took piano one again, but I got inspired when I saw my piano underneath of my bookshelf. So I put it together. It's up right now. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I still have all my old piano books from high school, actually. Um, so maybe I'll teach myself or find like an online course or something, but she's getting back to her musical side. You know I want this very long. Yep. You already knew. You already knew. <laughs> yes, it gets so messy.
back home. I actually forgot to bring my camera. The best part about summer is that they sell Baja Blast in like packaged bottles like this instead of having to go to Taco Bell all the time. I remember one year they skipped it though and I was kind of sad. I went to Target today to get some shapewear. I need to return these parachute pants from Amazon as well. Hello, Lucky. I saw the Mountain Dew at the corner like before you go to the checkout. So I had to pick me up a Mountain Dew. So I got that. I also got some shapewear for tomorrow. Today is August 1st. It's currently 8.42. I look like this because I just got my hair done by my girl. And um, I got some shapewear for the dress for tomorrow, a black one and a beige. It kind of doesn't matter the color. I got a large and extra large. I don't know which one's gonna fit the best. So whichever one doesn't fit, I'll return back to Target. And then I also got one of these like random pouches because I've been using this Calvin Klein one for a minute, but blue doesn't match everything. And I just wanted like a cheap little one until I figured my stuff out. And then I got this claw clip. I just got it for shits and giggles, honestly. But now that I'm thinking about it, when this braid gets old, I might take out part of it and then just claw clip the rest. I don't know. I actually could wear my natural hair right now if I took all this out in a claw clip. So maybe I'll get it. I'll wear it like that before I take the style out completely. But that's pretty much all that happened today. I actually forgot to film my pedicure. But now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of don't want to film my feet. It's a little bit weird for me. So I got a pedicure today. I got like just a pink. <laughs> I love how I'm describing it to you guys. You guys will see if you see the full outfit. But I have a pair of like strappy little fake heels. I like to call them. I can't wear real heels like stilettos. The body doesn't do it for me. So I have like wedge flip flop heels sort of. And I've had them for like a year and a half. They're just like plain black strappy. So I wanted to have my toes done tomorrow for the dress. And I just got like a clear pink. Nothing too crazy. I got that. Um, before I got my hair done today. So all I did was I ended up cleaning my house, vacuuming and sweeping because it was long overdue. Lucky is shedding so much. And I did not film yesterday because I just met the nail tech that did my nails. I'm a person that's willing to pay more for the outcome. So a little bit on the bougie side, but I love the results every single time. And I knew she was gonna kill it because I seen what she did when I was sitting in the other chair next to her but wow did she pop off let me show you okay like are you for real like is this a game this is so cute she told me to try this new thing called a press gel i think or gel x and this is my first time ever trying them i don't know how i like the durability of the nails because i haven't done anything significant yet i don't go to work until later this week so we'll see how it stands the server test y'all know i'm a server at both jobs and being a server means using your hands all the time. So we'll see how durable this is compared to regular acrylic. But so far, I'm living for them. I love them. I haven't had nails since last year. I don't know what to do myself, but got my nails done, toes done, hair done. I started this bootleg tradition with myself that I buy myself a bottle for every single year. However, when I turned 21, it was in the middle of a pandemic. And um, I guess they were just short on like everything, shipments. And they did not have the bottle that I wanted. I wanted 1942. They didn't have it at this specific liquor store. And I just didn't feel like running around. I just don't like, liquor store is like the one errand that I just don't enjoy. I would just rather go to one and be familiar with it and that's it. So I didn't end up going to look for it anywhere else. And I didn't get a bottle for my 21st birthday. So since I didn't, I told myself I'm gonna get one for my 22nd. So for my 22nd, I ended up getting a bottle of 1942. For the 23rd, I got a Anejo bottle of Patron. So we're having a tequila theme. And since we're stuck on the tequila, I don't just like tequila, but tequila is that. She's that girl for me. I got a bottle of Azul, okay? I have never tried Azul, but this right here, ah, look at the bottle. This is such a pretty bottle. And I think this is the equivalent to like Blanco. It's clear. I think the other one is Reposado, the plastic bottle, which for me personally, I don't really have that much of a preference for what type of aged tequila I want. Um, my last bottle was Anejo and that was cool, but I'm cool with all three. I like Reposado, Anejo, and Blanco. So I picked this one up because this is one that was available and y'all already know, I'm not about to run around to 20 different liquor stores because I honestly didn't really care that much. I just wanted a bougie little cute bottle and I'm making it a little tradition for myself every year. So maybe next year I'll get a different brand of tequila or maybe just try a different liquor. But I'm going to put all this stuff away and I got Carabas, arguably one of my favorite pasta places. I actually used to work at Carabas. <laughs> I was talking to somebody and they were like, where haven't you worked at? Which honestly, T, I've worked at a lot of places. I've had a lot of jobs. But I worked at Carabas over the summer, like two or three years ago, and I could not stop eating the food and I still can't to this day, even though I don't work there anymore. So this is the shrimp and scallop vodka pasta and I'm gonna have it with some bread some olive oil, some herbs, and some Caesar salad. And I'll see you guys at 12 o'clock for a shot o'clock. Okay, one minute, it's 11.59. You're almost there. Oh! 
I'm 24. It's time to take a shot. I said I'm regretting my decision, but we're gonna do it. There's a real big shot. To 24, to me. Are you choking? It was, first of all, <laughs> I'm talking to two people. But, okay, first of all, it went down smooth, you guys. She interrupted me, <laughs> so I started laughing while I was taking it. Okay, we still have a little bit. We still have a little bit. Okay, now you can see. We love. What's up, you guys? It is my birthday. I'm not going to lie. This year has been a little bit difficult physically for me for my birthday because I've been going through so much health stuff. Um, I'm not properly medicated right now as far as autoimmune drugs, but I am pushing through it. I'm breaking out because of the prednisone. My face is looking a little round because of the prednisone, um, but we are pushing through it. I still look like a bad bitch, okay? This is the fit for today. I have another fit for tonight for dinner. It's hot outside and I don't really like my arms, but today is just gonna have to be the day that I suck it up because it is hot. So I'm wearing this tank top that I got from Finesse. It says high maintenance on it and like little bedazzled, which I thought was really, really cute. These cargo, Parachute pants are from Fashion Nova and I have my panda dunks on and then I just got my hair in this cute braid. Thank God everything held up overnight. I did like touch up my edges a little bit this morning because they were looking a little crazy um, and I was able to keep it together. I actually had two dreams that my hair was um, unraveling so I definitely was thinking about that clearly. Oh, and I also brought these. I'm going to the mall right now. I'm meeting up with Amaya because she said she wanted to give me a birthday present and I'm already gonna be at the mall, so I just told her to meet me there. The Brandon Blackwoods that I showed you guys a couple of videos ago, I wanna wear them because they have bees on them. It looks like it's gonna be sunny all day, no rain, which is great. And I wanna take some pictures outside with these, even though y'all know I'm glad I cannot see, but I really wanna take pictures with these outside, so I'm gonna bring them with me. I woke up earlier this morning, and I don't know if I said this on camera or if I'm saving this for another video, but I actually developed like bronchitis like acute bronchitis from being sick for so long without being medicated properly girl it's a long story but um i woke up this morning and took some eucalyptus tea this way nothing bothers me today i'm trying to get rid of it naturally of course nothing is 100 percent natural when you're on steroids all the time but that's definitely helping and i didn't want to take any antibiotics so i decided to do eucalyptus tea i also want to try in can in cantia tea and there's a couple of other herbs that help with the um, respiratory system. So I'm going to try those out because I don't feel like taking antibiotics. They do more harm than good for me. I haven't gone makeup shopping in so long and I really want to go to Sephora so bad. And I have this tradition as along with the bottle, I love getting perfume bottles for myself as well. A couple of years ago, I think I got like a Chanel perfume. I don't know if I got anything for my 23rd birthday because that was a weird year. But this year, I really want to get this like aquatic perfume i don't even remember the full name of it but i'm gonna go get it at sephora and i'm gonna do a birthday haul probably separately for you guys because y'all know i like to shop one time for the birthday chick i'ma mess around by you a birthday whip two times for the birthday chick i'ma mess around by you some birthday kisses what's up you guys i'm back home i took my pants off already <laughs> but i'm back home from shopping i ended up going to sephora and getting a lot of goodies that i haven't gotten in like months i haven't been to sephora in months there's Lucky back there. I just gave him a walk and there's stuff all over my living room. Don't mind that. Um, I got Amaya's gift, the Hello Kitty mirror. And girl, her balloon <laughs> up there. And then I got my Lush stuff and I got stuff from Foot Locker as well. I am planning on doing like a full birthday haul. So stay tuned for that because I have a couple of things that I still want to get and a couple of things that I already got that are coming in the mail. I'm going to go take a quick shower and put my robe on and figure out what I'm going to do with my makeup for my face. I think I want to do like a smoky liner. But if that doesn't work out, I'm just gonna do my basic situation, put my dress on and go meet my family for dinner. Okay, I'm in my bedroom. I just got out of the shower and I put this back on to try to savor my baby hairs. I haven't done my makeup in a minute. Last time I did my makeup, it was for a date, y'all. And I was speed running that makeup because I went on a date after I got off of work. So right now I have about an hour to do my makeup. I think normally if you guys have been watching my makeup videos early on, like when I was 19 and 20, I would usually do my makeup for like two, two and a half, three hours. So this is still a little bit of a rush for me, but I really want to do a little bit of a something something because these breakouts from the prednisone is really getting to me, especially this one right here. I popped it like three times. So it was kind of, it was doing a lot. So I think I'm going to do my signature brows. I really love filling in my brows when I do my makeup because I feel like it gives me more of a shape. I actually need 
some lip balm. Light coat of the lip balm. This is the Fenty Balm, if you guys are wondering. I came back and my house is literally 80 degrees right now, so I turned the air all the way down. I was gonna wear my robe, but I'm honestly dying, so I put this t-shirt on. I usually just end up going to like a hibachi place for my birthdays ever since I was little. I've been getting hibachi for my birthdays because growing up, it was always like a no restaurant for me. Like I couldn't get it on a normal like restaurant. You know, if it's a random Friday, what do you want to eat? Hibachi was always like a little bit too expensive. So we would always end up going to like Applebee's or Chili's or something. Um, and so every single birthday, it was like a special treat to go to hibachi. So I'm just so used to doing that. My Parents and my uncle were like, where do you want to go? And I was like, honestly, a safe space would be hibachi because I'm just so used to always going there. And they have good drinks, good food, and they're reliable. I haven't gotten drinks from this hibachi place um, in a very long time. I went there for my graduation as well when I graduated college in 2021. And that was the last time I was there with my family, the same set of people. So it should be fun. I haven't seen them all at the same time since then. So I'm going to do my brows, shape them, and then I'm gonna figure out, I think I'm gonna try to do a smoky eye for my eyes, like a smoky liner. We're gonna try to do what we need to do in the next hour. final makeup look I love the way it turned out I did a little bootleg smoky eye real quick I just learned how to do it so this is not perfection but this is what I came up with for today this is the fit for tonight got this dress from finesse and it has a slit on the side and I'm wearing Crocs right now but I have these heels right here for when I get to the restaurant they're just like strappy little 
heels and I got some clear pink on my toes. I am going to get in the car and go drive to go to my birthday dinner. Just gonna spray some of the new perfume I got. This is the name and the brand. This is gonna be my scent of the night and I'm gonna go hop in my car and go meet my family for dinner. Hair done, nails done, makeup. I wanna break up just to make up. I adore you, so I adore you. Is it to you? I need more you. Okay, you guys, I'm back home from my dinner. My mom got me some flowers. And I haven't had flowers for my apartment for a minute, so I'm excited to put these in water. I just got back from walking the dog, hence the outfit change. I also didn't get a chance to open this in the restaurant she got me some pink moscato guys i haven't drank pink moscato since i was like 21 or two so i'm excited to have that but that is it for my birthday vlog you guys thank you so much for watching my birthday prep my get ready with me my birthday um today has been a very tame 24th birthday and that's exactly the way that i wanted it i'm glad i got to take you guys along for the day i love you guys and what are you what are you sniffing okay I'll be my birthday present, like for what? I love you guys and I will see you in my next video.